Hi ho, welcome back to the shop. Um, today I'm gonna go further on the CNC machine and uh, uh, I will need to use the lathe and go uh, and go further with the, with the shaft. And uh, uh, I have a, a funny story. Uh, when I bought this lathe, it was for my first CNC machine and it was uh, just to make some, some shafts, thing like that. So I, I did not check uh, <clears throat> all the package um, that was coming with uh, when you when you buy a lathe, uh, you have a lot of things. You have gears, you have uh, headstock, tailstock, and whatever. A lot of things, screw, wrench. Uh, I just uh, I just uh, take what I need at this time and do not make any kind of what we can call receive inspection. And um, to go further with the CNC machine, and especially with the with the head. Uh, I need to use a steady rest, and uh, I have a, a big surprise with the steady rest of these of these lathes. So let me show you. So the first thing first that you can notice on the steady rest is is the color that you can see here. But uh, you know, it's not a big concern for me. So the, it's a gray color, or whatever, it, it will work in, in any way. Now the concern is the fact that uh, this steady rest is not for this lathe. If you can see here, and you want to mount it, it go down. So there is a mistake at the delivery. But I bought this lathe a long time ago. So uh, I cannot go back to the supplier and say, hey guys, there is a delivery issue, maybe three or four years ago. So the only thing that I have to do is to make a, a plate adapter between uh, the current steady race and uh, the lays and the ways. Uh, it is done here, oh, like, like the tail stock, I hope you can better see here. So, I will take the dimension uh, underneath of this, uh, of this guy here. Uh, I will also take the dimension of, the, of this lathe on the bench. And I will make a print and uh, create an adapter to put this one, uh, this raised here. And, uh, then I, I can go further with the uh, with my project. So here it is. Uh, so you know, when you receive something, especially a machine or, or whatever, uh, do not forget to check everything uh, to avoid this type of mistake. So uh, I will uh, make the measurements of uh, all the needed dimension, and then I will make a print and I will show you the the design. Uh, with you and uh, then we go ahead so see you for the, for the design hi all welcome back on my channel uh, I will share with you the design and uh, also some very cool uh, things that I discover uh, on FreeCAD so basically um, the plates will have two V groove uh, this one will go on the lathe and this one will receive a square and uh, the square will provide another V groove for the, the actual steady rest and um, this hole here is just uh, to secure the, all the thing in place uh, so it's very uh, very basic design and um, one thing that I want to show uh, to show you is uh, this kind of a uh, 3D software, uh, you, you can make a print in a very, very uh, quick way. So to do that, uh, you need first to use the proper workbench and uh, this one named drawing. Then you create, um, you use a template uh, as a paper, so let's say A4, and uh, you have a page, and in this page now you can insert some uh, drawing that come from directly from uh, 
your 3D uh, model. So um, the way to do that, you uh, choose the part you want uh, to um, to see as a drawing. So I, I take this one, and then you just uh, go in uh, this uh, option on the menu, and uh, <coughs> you can choose the type of projection you 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 want. So. Uh, and you can also uh, choose the kind of view you want to see. So if you change, for example, this way, you can see the, the side of the part. You can add more view. For example, I, I had this one. You can say, I want to see hidden uh, things. So you can see the, now the holes. If I zoom on it, the holes. And uh, also the V-group here. And you can also... Um, insert a 3d view uh, so there is some sometimes some fine tuning regarding the regarding the parts but uh, basically it, it works very nice so something very interesting and uh, <coughs> after you are okay with what you choose um, you validate the thing and if you go on the page you see the different view and uh, <coughs> the next thing that you can do so you can uh, change the position each of each view uh, with the, the data here and I find something very interesting um, I will show you if you use this workbench so uh, I will explain you how, you, how to install this, uh, this workbench for uh, FreeCAD and uh, it's uh, someone that uh, developed it uh, apart. So this one allows you to make a quick and easy uh, dimensioning. And for example, if uh, I want to create a linear dimension, uh, I just have to select the two dimension I want. Then it, it creates me all the things automatically. So it's something very interesting, and uh, you you can. So you can uh, do a lot of type of, of dimension. You can put also some some uh, some axes. Um, so for example, if we want to make some axes, we take this one like that, we draw it, and then you can put a new dimension between this one and this one. And uh, here we are. So it's a very a simple straightforward workbench that was uh, developed by a, a guy and as you can see uh, you have a very very nice uh, result and uh, what I can show you is the uh, the, the previous uh, print and the drawing I made with the with this uh, the thing so I will close it and take the first one so here it is the print I made for the for the steady rest adapter plate and uh, you have all the detail about that so uh, to be able to machine a v-groove uh, you need to make a slot uh, and depending on the size of the v-groove you can have a bigger or, or a smaller slot so um, to this option is something very cool for FreeCAD um, and if you uh, want more information, so uh, you can find FreeCAD at the, this uh, this destination. So you can uh, download it uh, very easily for all the kind of platform. Then you have a, a dedicated page, uh, and you have here, you know the <coughs> the path to go there. And uh, there is an explanation about additional modules and related project. And uh, the, the, the new module and the workbench uh, I show you regarding the dimensioning is this one. It's a drawing dimension workbench. And uh, if you click on this link, uh, you will uh, arrive here. The guys who uh, developed this, uh, this workbench uh, is uh, called Hamish 2014 and you have also all the needed instruction to install uh, this new workbench for FreeCAD so you can uh, install it for uh, Linux, Windows, Mac 
and you also have some uh, um, very interesting and cool things about uh, uh, defining the defining the size of the uh, uh, of the dimension. So <coughs> that's very great tool, and uh, it will be interesting to share with you uh, this kind of thing. So the next step uh, will be to um, to prepare. Uh, a stock and to start the, the machining operation. So the next video you will see some uh, some uh, bend saw, uh, you will see some surfacing, some CNC machining, and and so on. So thank you uh, for watching. Um, if uh, if you need you know some three uh, application things, uh, I guess that FreeCAD um, will provide you a big help if you need to make some manufacturing thing. So thanks for watching and see you for the next episode.